So as I said, we are on lunch break right now. This is a video we had recorded about. And it talks to some of the challenges that we talked about just now. Okay, here we go. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bashir Fancy. Uh Hang on, what went wrong there? All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bashir Fancy. I'm the founder and um, CEO at BizTech, which is Business Te and Technology Professional Association of Canada. We are not for profit. Today, I'm very excited because the theme of the conference is all about reimagining, rethinking, and moving forward for Canada. I have a very important person uh, who's got a pretty uh, solid background is Dino Mille. Dino Mille is the chief executive at Spark, but he's gonna tell you more about it. So I'm gonna ask four questions because we wanna make it a short and snappy video here. So question, welcome, first of all, Dino. I'm really glad you were able to do this. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be part of this. My pleasure. So the question for you is, we are going through challenges, we'll talk about that. What is Spark Niagara all about? Can you tell us? Sure. As you mentioned, I'm the chief executive officer and founder there of a not-for-profit center. Uh, it was built by entrepreneurs for the next generation of entrepreneurs. At Spark Niagara, innovation is more than just a spark. Uh, it is a process, one that requires a roadmap, resources, and the right people at your side. Um, we strive to create uh, a center where business, education, and municipalities join in trusted and interactive knowledge communities. One that not only highlights the community's talent, but also uncovers business opportunities that help our urban and rural communities retain and attract youth um, and talent, uh, produce uh, our own skilled workforce, solve local challenges and social and technology uh, innovation issues. That's fabulous. Now, everybody in Canada, actually the world, but in Canada even more so, is going through a challenge that, I don't know, was created by COVID, but certainly Certainly, it uh, amplified it, uh, and that has created big challenges. What is Spark Niagara doing uh, to help in that area? Obviously, that's you've done quite a few things. Why don't you share uh, share with us some of those stuff? Sure. I think the first thing is to put a little bit of context that we know that we had economic challenges before COVID nineteen in Niagara. We had uh, forty years of losses of industry. Uh, offshore due to globalization. However, the pandemic has created great losses recently in small businesses, uh, restaurants, tourism, hospitality. We've been fortunate in the construction sector, agriculture, manufacturing. They've had a slight resurgence in Niagara and they've helped ease the loss of our GDP due to the pandemic. However, this pandemic still amplified and exposed the problem and a weakness that we have been battling with in Niagara as innovators and startup uh, entrepreneur supporters. In our case, the systemic problem uh, was not the absence of innovation or management talent. It was an underperforming process of providing timely financing for promising enterprises. Like even though we had um, proudly graduated 120 promising companies, uh, because of the lack of venture capital investment, um, these entrepreneurs fail to take root, much less grow into Canadian-owned mid-side firms, um, which are the keystone to our economy. Well, this is actually very interesting because um, what you refer to, which is the right context, that Canada has seen big challenges with the COVID-19, didn't get totally
possibly created because some of the economic problem were there. But the exposed floor lines, it's uh, created challenges for businesses. This morning we heard 10,000 restaurants have closed in Canada and eight out of 10 are just surviving. But now that means there's a challenge about money. What, do you have anything in place infrastructure wise and how would you get the money and get this moon? Yes, we do. But let, let me explain exactly what you said. We've yep. witnessed this with the ecotourism, tourism, and some of the other areas with small businesses in digital Main Street or downtown Main Street in our 12 cities in Niagara. Uh, our small and medium-sized businesses have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. And you know that, as well as I do, that the major drivers of job growth in Canada are supported by uh, these small companies, they create uh, a lot of value, uh, not only to the community, but also bringing tax-based dollars, uh, jobs, and a lot of reliable economic growth. So yeah, it's been really difficult. So we believe at Spark that you have to be bold in times of, uh, in these times. And one of the things that uh, happened, our response at least, was to alleviate the lack of funding uh, for our startups that has come from the curation of a project between two key entrepreneurs, and that's uh, Mr. Terry McTaggart and Mr. Nabil Irfan. Um, both of them, working with their own companies, came together and created a crowdfunding platform called Trajectory, which is designed to play a key role in improving opportunities for startups for capital. Trajectory uh, takes advantage of the latest technologies and challenges uh, in the regulatory environment to broaden the investor base uh, dramatically in order to provide the capital, the mentorship and the talent um, by startups and young companies to improve their chances to succeed. So we're really proud and honored that soon you'll see something uh, coming through Spark Niagara that allow for crowdfunding to happen and bring money at a time that it's needed um, and not have to put pressure on the taxes or the uh, not-for-profit sector as well as the government. So you have that in place. If the final thing, what are the few things you would say in terms of the task or actions you're doing for to assist with skills and the general uh, challenges to move, move this forward and make it happen? So how do we move this forward? I think the important part is we have to learn to collaborate. We have to work together. We have to be a team and uh, take on this pandemic as uh, as a challenge that will not go away quickly. And exactly what BizTech is doing right now, BizTech has been a key partner of Spark Niagara. They've supported us. And in order to survive and thrive, this conference that you're presenting is really important. And we need more of these. Dino, that's fantastic. In the short uh, time, you articulated the issues beautifully so we can move forward. But what we will do is sometime next month, we will bring you back to go in take a deeper dive into these issues so we can understand the actual challenges you can probably give us even more examples because whatever you described today is not just isolated in niagara i mean niagara has suffered and you're doing great things i think this is a problem of canada you would also describe right so um, truly truly uh, it is true yes absolutely it's, it is pan-canadian Absolutely. Dino, thank you very much. I really, truly appreciate that you're doing this. And I look forward to talking to you again uh, uh, next month in much more detail. Thank we'll you. Do. I really appreciate being on this and I look forward to the conference. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dino. All the very best. Thank you. Same to you. All right, so as I said, we're on a lunch break at the moment. <clears throat> so do enjoy lunch. We're going to be back sharp at um, 105 with the micro digital learning. So we're only 10 minutes away. So take care, folks. All, all the best. So let me just go back to the... Oh, what are you going to do?